Mercado Vial TV, un mundo de máquinas. We are in the Bauma 2016, uh, we are in the Comac 2 stand and we continue talking about intelligent machine control. Here we are with an, now with uh, an excavator. The principles are ex uh, 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 pretty much similar to the doors. You, 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 you could have the same design model get loaded into the machine, into the system, um, but where the doors are is, is pushing material, this is digging material. Um, so in auto mode, the design will tell you that you have to remove so many cubic meters of material or maybe fill with so many cubic meters of material and this what the system does is it stops you going beyond your target surface so if you have to remove one meter deep you remove one meter deep you don't remove 1.1 or 1.2 it doesn't let you go beyond the target surface and how do you do that i mean do you have a sensor in the yes the the, the systems that we have on the machine um, that we've developed allow Uh, very, very precise and real-time bucket edge position. And also the software and the development of the control system determines the, the position of the bucket edge in relationship to the design surface. So when the bucket edge achieves design surface, the hydraulic control system stops it going further. So you can push as hard down as you like with the work equipment and when the bucket achieves surface, it stops. It, it stops totally. And then what the operator has to do then is, instead of using both levers, conventionally you have to have uh, boom rears, arm rears, and also curl the bucket while the operator is watching the screen and watching the bucket. With the system, once he achieves grade, all he needs to do is pull back on one lever, forget about this, uh, and let the machine achieve the grade for him. So much simpler, much, much simpler. Simpler, yeah. yeah. In a manual mode, you might get one pass which is on grid. The second one could be high, could be low. But with, with the system in, in auto mode, that means every time the operator makes a cut or makes a fill, it's the same. It's consistency constantly. You don't have the steps of... You don't have steps. Um, you know how long it's going to take you to excavate a certain amount of material. So it, it, you can reduce the time it takes for that, that operation. You're using less fuel. Um, it's, it's much more accurate. You don't have to have a severe constantly checking the level after each pass, so you don't need any more men on the ground, which is also a very, very good safety factor. Yeah, the, the guy in the, in the seat is the one who's in control of the operation. It, it, as long as you have the design and the machine working in auto, it will do what it needs to do without any issues. Can we connect this with the contacts? How these two technologies are They're working together mainly. Yeah, yeah. All, of, all of our machines are um, linked with contracts, the telematic system. Uh, and we've developed and we are still developing um, very sophisticated ways in terms of the, the amount of material that the machine can, can work or remove or, or fill, um, also using contracts. We know, we can tell when it's in auto, when it's not in auto, uh, how close it is to the surface so we can determine The, the percentage of time it's actually on grid and all of this type of information is, is vital to contractors and, and people who project managers of, of job sites so that they can see exactly how the machine's performing. We've, um, we've done quite a lot of, of uh, application engineering tests with, with our customers who have these machines uh, measuring cycle times and volumes etc and I would say on average you're talking a minimum of a, a 30% saving on productivity and efficiency. A minimum of 30%. Thank you for the interview. My pleasure, my pleasure. ¿Qué estás esperando? Suscríbete ya. Mercado Vial TV, un mundo de máquinas.